Alrighty. I have a new key mailer game. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is doing that thing again where, like, the game is displaying like this on my screen. So it's a full screen application with windowed borders on the left and right. The immediate impression. This is a really cute screen though, I like this. Music's very interesting. For my options, exit, help, credits, settings, and play. Well, let's just take it as it is. This is niche or niche, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And it is a genetic survival game. They opted to give me this game because I have interest in Don't Starve. And the description of this game is kind of, I don't want to say intense, but like just looking at the screenshots of this game on Keymailer and reading the description, like it really just did not match up in my opinion. So I'm curious to see, very curious to see how this goes. New game, new, oh, oh, you can have up to five game files. What up? Story mode and sandbox mode. Oh, let's do story mode. Experience the story of Adam. Recommend it for new players. Sure. And we will call this... Emailer Surprise. I can't spell. Emailer Surprise. Story mode. Let's play. Let's see how utterly adorable this may or may not be. This game is scheduled for release on September 21st. They sent it to me on the 15th, so I got a couple of days. My webcam is dusty. Got a couple of days to record this and edit it for awesomeness. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Oh no. That's totally a bird of prey. No. Oh my god, I'm immediately sad. Oh my god, what? <laughs> it's so funny and so sad at the same time. Yeah, like that would really survive that fall. Come on now. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, I'm gonna start out this game by crying over a fictional fucking cat creature. Tutorial. Ouch, that hurt. Look around. You are all alone. Strain it on an island far away from home. Try and see if you can still walk. Click on Adam and then on a blue paw symbol to move. Oh. His face? His face is following my mouse. You guys, I don't think I have mouse capture enabled, but he's totally following wherever my mouse is on the screen. here. Seems you are not injured, that's good news. It was a long day. Time to get some sleep. Click on the end day button at the top of the screen. Tip, you can also press space to end the day. Is this the end day? Or is that move? Alright, that is an end day button. The world looks brighter today. Time to explore this new place. Tip, use your mouse wheel or R and F on the keyboard to zoom in and out. Left click and drag, or use WASD, Wasad, as I like to say, with the arrow keys to move the camera. Right click and drag, or use QETG? QET, that's super awkward. Hey, I wasn't done yet. Seems to be plenty of food on this island. Let's find something to eat, move around to find a berry bush and collect from it. Tip, Adam eats one food per day, make sure he doesn't starve. Scroll. Camera. Right click. Q-E-T-G. Q-E-T-G is super not natural on the keyboard, and I have no idea why they picked that. 
I don't like that they picked that at all. Berry bush, collect fruit, or attack. Ooh. I mean, we'll collect the fruit, I guess. Tasty berry is a great source of nutrition. Collecting more and building up a reserve sure would, sure would be helpful. Your food count displayed at the bottom right corner of the screen. What up? How many can I collect? What's this? What are all these things on the side here above, above my head? I don't know. This island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Maybe it's time to leave this place? Move Adam to the flower port and interact with the pointy travel stone. Can Why can't I move? Do I have to end the day? Oh. I guess, I guess when his head is down like that, it means he's sleepy. Venomous. Strength. Like what? Infects victims to poison when attacking. Oh. I don't know what all of these things are. Am I going in the right direction? So I guess any time his face goes down like that, he's sleepy. And you need to sleep. That's a little obnoxious. Are you gonna make me fucking sleep here? Oh my god, why? I'm in the flowers! No! I'm in them! Still gotta sleep- oh, of course, now it's raining on me. All animals on port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. Well, I'm alone, so I can't really leave anybody behind. Oh, I got two achievements for that. Globetrotter and Homecoming. Well, that's a lot of purple flower. Can I go down into the water? That's interesting. Did you hear that? It sounds like another animal is living on this island. Find the wild animal and offer it food to join your tribe. Tip, you can switch your perception mode in the bottom right corner of the screen. I guess that's where I can move. It's awkward. Oh, can't go back. Okay. I can very easily mouse off of this screen, by the way. But it's not technical. <clears throat> it seems like just clicking on your character brings up that menu and leaves it. Put space to end the day. Found a, I found a nest. Is it a hole? What's going on? Attack. Offer five to join your tribe. Clear away foliage. Yay! Join my, my join my tribe. Oh, can she move places? <gasps> she can. Nut. Crack open the nut. Let's crack open the nut. Oh, that gave me food. Okay. Oak tree. Crack open the nut. What up? Oh, everybody's tired. The animal you found is a female, called Eve. Oh, of course, Adam and Eve. That's cute. Now you can explore the new island together. You can use the tab key to switch between animals. Cool. Um, I'm not religiously oriented in my life, but I feel like some people who might want to play this would be very offended. Very, very offended that Adam and Eve is featured in a game about genetics. <laughs> Not the smartest of moves there, to go all sorts of religiously named. Oh, there's a tiny rabbit. 
Can I murder it? It's crab coming in that. Oh, it left. Okay. Um. Adam and Eve seem to like each other. Maybe it's time to start a family, move your animals together, and mate. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Because of low cracking ability. Oh my god. Oh, you can banish them from your tribe. Holy crap. Alright. Guess we're gonna mate now. Soon your animals will become parents and raise the next generation. Tip. Your animals grow older and will die one day. Oh. You can check their age in the bottom left corner. Eve is pregnant. She needs a nest to give birth. Build a nest with Eve and rest on it for a night. Building nests uses nest materials. There might be natural nests on the island that you can use. Okay. Oh, well, I like can't move her anywhere, so... Oh, I guess he's really bad at cracking open nuts. I'm surprised she got pregnant! Oh. Can you crack open that nut? Nope. I thought he might be able to interact with the flowers, but I guess not. Oh, Your first offspring has been born. Now you are a real family. The baby's genes are a mix of its parents' genes. Genes define how animals look and what abilities they have. Click on the family tree button in the bottom left corner when having an animal select it to see the family relations. What am I clicking on? Click the family tree button in the bottom left corner. Baby animal, animal age. No, that's genetics. 50-50, is this the parents? These are mutations. There we go. Apparently that's the tree. Uh, oh god. Brown eyes. White horn. It has white horns? What? Black horns? Interesting. Okay. Apparently this weird little thing down here that's kind of like blinking as I mouse over it is the tree. <laughs> Oh my god. This camera stuff is slightly awkward. I guess the baby can't do anything? Nope, okay. Oh, I don't know. I like how they just kind of follow. Oh, she has horns on her head. I literally just noticed that those were horns. This is the end of the tutorial. Your story begins here. Okay. What are these things? It rains and plants regrow. I read that one. I read that one. These are the old messages. I don't really need these. What's this? This is the end. It rains and plants regrow. Okay. Sure. Now what? <laughs> I guess I have to make them stay together. 